uh, I was born in the Philippines and uh, I moved here to Kodiak in 1969 and I kind of like her so I got stuck on the rock <laughs> that's what they say that's good <laughs> yeah anyway so yeah I work uh, I work in the cannery when I arrived because um, before uh, there were lots of uh, there were lots of shrimp here in Korea. Yeah. Yeah, they come with a boat load, you know. Up until very recently, there have actually been very few Filipinos on Kodiak. In fact, the United States Census shows that there were only 26 Filipinos on Kodiak in 1960. I am trying to find out exactly when the number of Filipinos on Kodiak grew. This is difficult because there has been hardly any research done on the history of Filipinos in Kodiak. So, the way to find out this history is to interview some of the people who were there. I interviewed Felix Canetti on his experiences working in the canneries. He worked in the canneries when he first moved to Kodiak and eventually became a janitor for the school district. The sudden population boom is thought to be the effect of the successful fishing industry in the early 70s through 80s. Actually, when I arrived in Kodiak, there were only a few Filipinos. Yeah, in fact, I could say maybe there were only, there were only about maybe 20 of us. There were not lots of Filipinos then. To answer my hypothesis, I interviewed Benny Dacolinia, who worked in the canneries during the early 70s, which is when I believe the Filipino population began to take off on Kodiak. Good afternoon, my name is Benny Dacolania, and I've been in Kodiak. My first year was 1966. When I first arrived, uh, I think there were just a few living here in Kodiak. And when you did see Filipinos downtown, it's because they were the workforce sent up from Seattle in the plant. Then as for 15 years later, maybe a couple hundred. But see, that would probably be late 70s, early 80s. Then I asked him how well the fishing industry was at this time. It was very good, very good. That's the uh, main reason he had a large influx of Filipinos here, because the word got out you can make good money, work all the hours you want. And a lot of that money they would send home to relatives in the Philippines to help out. But uh, Filipinos from Kodiak, Washington, Oregon, they found out from their friends that came up here and worked, hey, you can make good money, really good money. So they'd all come up. Eventually, every year it would increase. Filipinos have contributed so much to the economy of Kodiak especially to the workforce of the canneries. Through my research, I realized how important their contributions were, and I uncovered some of that lost history. I learned that the first large Filipino immigration to Kodiak was in the early to mid-1970s, and that it was mainly due to the successful fishing industry going on during that time. I hope you enjoyed the movie and learned something about the history of Filipinos on Kodiak.